next up to the stage, we have Brendan Thompson Alder from the College of Medicine, Biology and the Environment. The title of Brendan's talk tonight is A Sight for Sore Eyes, Vision Testing in Neurological Disease. One in six of you will have a stroke, and half of those will die. For those that survive, stroke is the leading cause of disability in Australia. Stroke can damage the pathway from your eye to the back of your brain, where your vision is processed in the visual cortex. Without proper vision, you cannot read, you cannot drive, you cannot play sport or watch TV. Just imagine how different your life would be. There are many different types of visual impairment which can occur after stroke. Some are well known and some less known. Take higher visual function loss. Here I have an example. This is my rendition of prosopagnosia, which is the inability to recognize distinctive features of a person's face. Those with this condition cannot recognize their family, their friends, or indeed their themselves. Or perhaps consider that you have a different problem and you can't tell how fast a car is moving when you go to cross the road. Well, say you look in your garden patch and you can't tell which flower is which because all the colours appear the same. These are some forms of high visual function disorder. And what's really strange is doctors do not typically test for them. Currently, doctors don't have the time to test for all these different types of high visual function disorder. What I aim to do is measure how common they are so I can advise whether they should be spending time on these particular diseases. And so why do these patients not recognize it themselves? I will give this analogy. Consider that today you can see in color and tomorrow you can't. Okay? But all your memories are also in black and white, so you have nothing to compare to. The way you currently see is the way you believe that you've always seen, so you don't have anything to, to go on. We also want to improve the ability of others to test for these high visual function disorders. Currently, when you go to do a test, many of them require a physical response, such as pressing a button. This may seem quite easy to us, but for stroke patients who have cognitive or muscle problems, they aren't easily able to complete this. So I'm trialing out a new machine, which replaces this buzzer with changes in your pupil diameter. The test produces results very, very quickly. So it produces tens of thousands of data points, which then I have to process using an algorithm. Using all this, we can advise doctors whether or not they should be standardly testing for these different range of high visual dysfunctions. Overall, the aim is to better detect and better diagnose visual deficits in those with neural damage. Given that in this room alone, 75 of you will have a stroke during your lifetime, this is particularly important to you. So, when you do have a stroke, we have the information we need to help. Thank you.